Pitbull, Mr. 305, Mr. Worldwide. I mean, you go by so many different monikers. I know I confuse days. myself sometimes, to be honest <laughs> with you. But. Um, this is our third year speaking at Emerge, Armando, so it's great to see you once again. And it seems like Thank you're you. busier than ever. But I wanted to start off with this very interesting project that you have coming up, and you call them the upfronts for Pitbull. Can you? Tell us all about that. I mean, basically the upfronts for and what we got going on. I want to start off by saying thank you guys so much all right, for being down here. Appreciate it. But um, the upfronts is basically, I just feel as an artist, we have so many numbers aggregated. Let's say on, on YouTube, we have 10 million views aggregated. When it comes to speaking to people monthly, it's about 250 million people that are checking in Pitbull business one way or another. So what we want to do is utilize those numbers and, and show brands exactly how powerful Pitbull the brand is. So we're doing upfronts when we're inviting amazing companies such as um, Telemundo, uh, Netflix, Google, I'm, I'm sorry, Microsoft. Google's going to come too, watch, you'll see. But it, it, we're bringing them down to Casa de Campo down in Dominican Republic, showing them a great time, but also showing them that it's deeper than just being an artist, singer, rapper, entertainer. There is a business behind it, and these are things that we, we, we want to educate them on. And it's a whole other way of thinking about this because your reach right now is probably as as much as maybe a network even and that's what networks do with well, their upfronts. Yes, it, it, exactly. That's where we got the ideas yeah. from. Now with that said, it, it is just as much as a network and that's why when we did the, the deal with Fox for the New Year's Eve, uh, special that we do down here in Miami is it wasn't just us being executive producers. No, we're owners slash partners in this endeavor due to the fact of the numbers that we put up. Right. You know? So it's just all about grabbing those numbers and making the best example of them for these companies. They understand how we move. But you go one step beyond just grabbing the eyeballs, grabbing the numbers. You actually want to learn about your consumer. You have a project right now with a Norwegian Cruise Lines. Yes. Americans love cruising, so it's yeah. probably the right place to be. But you're not just partnering to create a Pitbull cruise. You're going one step further. You want the data. Well, yes, we're, we're utilizing the data. We're data mining. And we're doing it from the tours to the residency that we have in Vegas. Second leg of the tour here in the United States with Enrique Iglesias, which is an amazing tour, by the way. Enrique, always thank you for the opportunity. And then we're applying that to what we got going on with Norwegian Cruise Line. They have been great partners and have allowed us to do fun things on how to really enjoy the consumer, but also gift them on the fact of, you got certain fans that went to the last cruise that we had on Norwegian Cruise Line that came from Asia, that came from Australia, came from South Africa, to come and enjoy that. Now we want to make sure that if we got fans all around the world and we can uh, utilize their data so that they have the best time, enjoy, but also feel like, wow, uh, they get French benefits. Sure. For, for being super fans, okay? And I think right now with a lot of things that are going on and the way that technology is moving so fast, we're forgetting the fact what a fan is. You know, we, we want to show them and, and their value, utilize right. their value. 